We now listen to the Honorable Justice Mario Victor F. Leonen as he gives his address to the new lawyers. Congratulations, you made it. You hurdled the most difficult civil service examination in the Republic. Years of toil and sacrifice have borne fruit. You deserve the privilege to enter your names into the sacred roles of attorneys. The privilege of your title comes with a lot of responsibility. Keep in mind that this title will not fully define or constitute who you are. You are more than your degrees and your professional titles. They are your masks. Behind these masks and titles should still be authentic human beings. The presence and support of others made your achievements possible. Your parents and close relatives have nurtured, clothed, and fed you. Your many professors have patiently, hopefully humanely, trained you. Many others have been there for you. They are easy to overlook. The food servers you have bothered while you reviewed. The men and women that cleaned up after you, to name, to name a few. They too deserve recognition and your appreciation. Treat them all well. As an exercise of humility, Soon after these ceremonies, and as one of your priorities, please go back to them. Say thank you. We will attempt to remove more inequities that are inherent in the modality of the bar examinations. Already with unanimous support, the court and bank has approved a regional site in Cebu City for the bar examinations. I have also been given the go signal to drive a project that will examine the various digital platforms for a pilot test in computerizing the bar, including how, the, how applicants answer the exam questions. This will be a relief to those who come after you with handwriting as bad as many of the justices of this court. Second, I hope to trigger a conversation as to the real nature of the bar and make its practices more reasonable. The bar is merely a qualifying examination not a determinant of how good you will be as a lawyer. Certainly, it does not measure your worth as a person. It is the intention of the current bar chair to take a hard look at the various rituals that add unnecessary pressure on the applicants, including the utility of midnight and last-minute tips from well-meaning supporters and the way we evaluate the answers to the examinations and present the results. Soon enough, we will make the proper proposals for the consideration of the court and bank. Remember that being a lawyer is not primarily about you. Your profession is designed to make the problems of others your problem. A lawyer cannot exist without a client or a cause. Every case, whether banal or politically controversial, will interrogate your ability to discover the ideals of justice, equality, and meaningful freedoms. Your purpose as a lawyer is to use your lives to shape law so that it authentically contributes to the achievement of the best society for every human being. It will not be easy. Even with the ATTY in your names, it will not be easy. Even when people start to call you justice, it will not be easy. As a lawyer, resist injustice. Make it your passion to resist injustice. Strive for excellence, not only in order to get you more titles, not to land yourself in top 10 lists of lawyers. Strive for excellence, because you need excellence with honor to enable and empower the weak, the poor, the marginalized, and the oppressed. Remain humble, listen and learn. There is wisdom in the difficulties of our people. These are your responsibilities. There is a lot to be done out there. Finally, if there is anything, remember this. Be better than us. Walang magpapalaya sa atin kung hindi tayo mismo. Umayo ng buong giting at tapak. Paglingkuran ang sambayanan. Agyaman na, syukran, maraming salamat.